Hey folks, Professor Finn here, everyone's favorite funeral service educator and homeless mall Santa. And I didn't even put beard wax in today. I mean, this thing is bushy and nasty. I need to do some trimming. So uh, you may be asking, Professor Finn, why are you popping up an impromptu video without even an intro on front of it? I mean, my, how the mighty have fallen. And that is because the United States government, the sweetest smelling government in the world, uh, threw a little something something into <laughs> the pages of... Uh, the Federal Register on May, and we're going to look at something today. This is this is fun stuff. So, what you see on the screen here is the publication. You can see here at the top of uh, the screen, we got our little friend, five hundred and forty-six pages. Like my God, talking about you ever wonder why people just get away with crap and it makes you just want to unelect all of them in office? Well, this is going to go on and on and on and on, but hidden away. In this massive, ridiculous waste of space is this little snippet. This adds a requirement. This adds a requirement that an institution, so this is any institution of higher learning that receives federal financial aid. And this is the only thing we're going to focus on. There, there's plenty of other stuff in here we could look at. But this is going to require that an institution provide students with accessible clinical or externship opportunities related to and required for completion of the credential or licensure in a recognized occupation within 45 days of the successful completion of other required coursework. So let's talk about this for a second. At its face value, this is a pretty good idea, right? There are schools out there who promise you the world they're aggressive in their practices. They drag you in. They're going to say, oh, this is a great degree for you. You're a great fit for it. They get you the degree, and then they kick you out the door and say, good luck finding work. Um, and what this legislation is intended to do is stop that from happening. And again, that makes sense, and I am all for something like that. So what's the problem with this? It is so broad that it affects everybody, and it doesn't take into account certain problems. So, for instance... In funeral service, the overwhelming majority of states have some sort of, we call them internships or residencies or apprenticeships. Every state has something different. And what this is, is a period either while you're in school towards the end or immediately after graduation, you go to a funeral home and you have to perform a certain amount of time before you can actually earn a full license. So... I'm going to focus on the state of Florida and why this is simply the schools are going to say, nope, we're done, we're out, we're going to close all our mortuary schools. In the state of Florida, we have something called an internship. And I've talked about this in one of my previous videos, Paths to Licensure in the state of Florida. And what this internship is, it, it is 50 out of 52 contiguous weeks. It is one year in time. Up until about maybe four or five years ago, you could only perform it after graduation. It is a license. You apply to the state, and the state issue you an intern license so that we, they can start tracking your time, and you have to turn in reports. And it's an employment decision. You must be compensated for those 50 weeks. You're not showing up to Raymond James to be an unpaid intern for three months. So what this is saying is not only do we have to provide you the externship, which in the state of Florida... There are limitations as who can offer these internships. We have to make sure it is accessible. So the institution must go to the business, inspect the business, and make sure the business is accessible to the graduate. Now, my major malfunction with this is that you're no longer a student the institution should not be under an obligation once you graduate to do anything to any place. But what the government is saying is, well, now it's your responsibility to place them within 45 days so that you will have to go do this. So this is where I see problems. This is where I see massive, massive problems. So in the state of Florida and any other state where this is a compensated position, you're going to go to an employer. You're going to apply for a job because it's a job to get this internship, externship out of your way. You are going to have your discussion about 
accessibility, right? Americans with Disabilities Act, that is part of the process. You will bring up as part of the hiring negotiation any sort of issues that you may have uh, to request reasonable accommodations from the employer. That is your right under federal law. Can you do this job if a reasonable accommodation is made for you? And the employer has a right to say no. You then have a right to challenge that and try to prove in federal court that it is an unreasonable, um, what, they're, what they're doing is illegal because it is not unreasonable for you to ask. That is a matter for courts. The schools are now going to have to come in and say, okay, is it accessible? Not is it accessible with reasonable accommodations. Is it accessible? So another secondary legal issue becomes with this, an, inst a an employer may work out a reasonable accommodation, but because the institution is required now to make sure it is accessible, there is no guidance as to can we take what has been worked out or must we apply some other standard? If the school doesn't like it, or worse yet, whoever is going to police this silliness comes in and says, well, we no, this needs to be something different, how is the school supposed to compel this third party to do anything like this? So now I focused only on the state of Florida, right? I've only talked about the state of Florida. What's the brilliance about this? What is the absolute phenomenal logic about this? It makes absolutely no exception anywhere for people with distance education. So right now in the state of Florida, there are, two, there are three mortuary schools, and two of them are approved by the American Board of Funeral Service Education for distance education. That means if you are a student at one of these distance education schools, and you live in the state of Wyoming, the institution is supposed to find you an externship in your state of residence so that you can continue with your licensure journey within 45 days of graduation. Or is it going to require you in Wyoming to move to Florida so that we can place you in an internship to meet this? This is a really bad idea. This is really, really, really awful. It's so bad that even the dog is losing his mind downstairs about it. So you can imagine if my dog... The dog puddle, like the dog has no aggression whatsoever, is upset about this. My Lord Almighty, this is really, really bad idea. So what do I recommend that anyone that might have a stake in this do? Well, it just so happens. You can write to the Honorable Miguel Cardona, Secretary of the United States Department of Education at 400 Maryland Avenue, Southwest Washington, D.C., 20202, with RE docket ID ED 2023-OPE-0089. Send a letter to Secretary Cardona, and let Secretary Cardona know that this is a really, 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 really bad idea, and you have until the wonderful date of June 19th. And you may say, well, Professor Finn, this has been out since May. Yeah. And in a 536-page PDF, they gave a 30-day review, and someone only found this one really bad idea snippet a few days ago and then started promulgating it through all the channels in the funeral industry and accreditation industries. And now accreditors and organizations that represent accreditors are going, um, hey, wait a second here, folks. This might be a really bad idea. So... This absolutely needs to have some commentary on, and I would advise any of you that are educators, please take the time to write the Secretary of the United States Department of Education to let this person know this is a horrible idea. This is Professor Finn signing off. I hope you have a lovely weekend, and we will see you next video.